I want to talk about this without insulting anyone, but this is a Carlton 325 semi chisel chain. The saw this has been running on has very recently had a muffler mod. Now let's say for argument's sake they picked up, they did a great job on the muffler mod and they picked up 25% power. What difference does it make? That's missing its corner. You can see that there. That's never cutting anything. They're all like this. Look at that. Back slope, corner gone, broken off. The filing angle across the top's incorrect. Most of them have had the entirety of the top plate folded back on the top. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. It's your saw. Do what you like with it. Really none of my business. But if you're contemplating the idea of modifying your saw because you want more cut speed, if your chain sharpening ability is anything other than great, can I suggest you spend the time and effort and a little bit of money on buying some files, a spare chain, and just practicing sharpening? You're going to gain more from this than you will from any muffler mod. The better you are at sharpening chain, the better your saw will work. The better you are at identifying damage to your chain or noticing the signs of when to stop cutting, the better it will cut. It doesn't matter how much power you have when your chain is like this. Like, I'm all for it. If you want to play around with your saw, go for it. I highly encourage it. We all like to do it. But being realistic, there is much more to be gained from learning how to use a file or a grinder or whatever you want efficiently and getting cut speed that way than from modifying the saw. Could go through this and explain exactly what's wrong, how to fix it. I've done videos on this before where I've used various different tools to fix it. Now I'm showing sort of the more basic way of doing it. So what's being used here, so I have an angle plate behind it. Carlton chain does not have a witness mark on the top. If they do have a witness mark on the top, or well, the damage isn't that severe, then by all means, just go without one of these. I'm using a 3 16 file, because it's a 325 chain, and I am just filing. Generally, I'd recommend doing this two-handed, but the bar this chain was on is in pretty bad shape. I don't have another bar that I can stabilize this on, so I've just got it loose. So I am just stabilizing the chain with my thumb. Because of that, it means I'm filing one-handed. I'm comfortable doing that. I can't get as much pressure on it, so I can't remove this as quickly, but really, who cares? I'm not gonna do all of this in one go anyway. I'll just do a bit now and carry on from there. If you guys want to see what it looks like from above while I clear one up, and I'll zoom you in for it, you can watch it up close. You can see what sort of condition this is in. So my thumb's at the back here just to stabilise it so it's not trying to do anything like that. This isn't a situation where you count file strokes or do anything like that. I need to file until the filing's done. The filing will be done when it's cleared the entire way across this top plate.
So yeah, very basic advice. But if you want to modify your saw, if you want more cut speed, that is perfectly fine. By all means, go for it. But I highly recommend, before you get into the caught up in the idea of modifying saws, that you make sure your sharpening is up to standard. <coughs> By all means, use whatever device you want to assist you. Just make sure you're getting good, consistent results. I have seen plenty of people that will cut faster using small, crappy saws that are very good with a file than people using much more powerful saws that aren't. There is much more to be gained by learning how to do this than pretty much any other modification you can get for a saw. Doesn't matter how much power you have, if this can't cut efficiently, you're never cutting wood. You can burn wood faster, but you're not cutting it any faster. You can see the previous attempt could say it was 35, but I'm guessing that's probably closer to 40 degrees. Yeah. Anyway, I've got a lot of work ahead of me. I've showed you guys how to do this before. I may show the other side as a bit of a demonstration later. I now have a 325 2-in-1. Maybe I'll show how to use one of them. I don't know. But yeah. By all means, if you want to modify your saw, modify your saw. But practice your sharpening first.